Good morning everyone, I'm back here at Carter's house. Carter's been filling me in on some of the stuff he did while uh, I was away working on his harness. So I'm gonna let Carter explain kind of some of the stuff that he's filled in. Ready for the camera. <laughs> it's all right though, it's all right. We're, we're good, he's gonna explain what, or what's going on and then we're gonna show what's on the agenda today that we're gonna be doing and it should, you know what, I'm not gonna say it because Carter gets mad every time I say it. it should be simple, but it's gonna be some just uh, fuel system, the clutch system, and maybe fix a thread. Fix a thread. All right, Carter, we're back. Oh, we're back. Too. What up, baby? So we can see some changes. Obviously, well, everything kind of that you've done is on the firewall, like you were telling me. So you put the booster in, which is a brand new brake booster. The brake master. That's the original. It's the original. Can okay. I get rid of that? Oh yeah, baby. Okay, so we're so that's there. You have the new filter. The fuel filter. Fuel filter. Uh, you had parts that you gave to Quick Strip, so I see all these brackets, right? Those yeah, these brackets, brackets the battery, battery tray. tray. He's got the fuse box uh, mocked up. It's not bolted down. And what else? I don't oh, even. Just pull the wires. Okay, yeah. So you got the wires starting to come back out. I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's yeah. got the suspension started. He's got drive shaft shop. These are what level zero? Level zero. Level zero. Okay, so these are just regular street axles for the swap. He's got the those are skunk two, right? Skunk yeah, skunk two. two upper control arms, the adjustable ones, and he's got coilovers coming. Brand new coilovers. You're gonna have to see that when they come in. That's gonna be actually a really nice treat for this car, and a traction bar too, right? Come on, dog. It's, oh yeah, yeah, traction bar. Come on, traction bro. It's not that through. early anymore. <laughs> All right, so here's the parts we got. So my boys over at K-Tune, shout out to K-Tune, they're uh, hooking Carter up. So they gave, they got him a whole clutch master or a clutch setup. So it's the slave cylinder, the master cylinder. It's got the uh, the tucked line in there as well. That's what we're going to be throwing on for his clutch setup. Uh, the fuel setup, you guys already seen the lines, but he's got the fittings we needed to make this whole regulator setup work. So we're going to explain how we're going to get that to work. And I brought my torque wrench. I'm going to be torquing this crank bolt down. That's probably the first thing I'm going to do right now before I forget. So I'm going to get the spec, torque the crank bolt down, and then we'll start with all this other stuff. In order to torque this crank bolt down, I have the Honda crank bolt tool or the crank pulley tool, I guess you would call it, whatever it is. Carter's going to hold the uh, pry bar on it. And in this opening is where I'm going to stick the, uh, the uh, wow, the torque wrench. I had a brain fart. So to torque this, it's going to be 180 foot-pounds. Car is going to hold it that way. I'm going to see if I set the, the camera down just so you can see it. So here's our first update. So we're using the hybrid racing fuel, the hybrid racing case swap. I think it's the simple, the, the simple swap or something like that. I don't remember what they call it, but it's basically from your fuel filter. So now they don't really talk about it, but this, uh, because this is converted, the banjo goes to the AN now, it doesn't fit in this little slot right here. So what we did was we had to turn it to the side. We ran it out, connected it right here. We got our fittings. So a dash eight ORB to a dash six. And then coming out, we have this adapter right here that Carter got from Radium. So it's another dash eight to six. And then this adapter, which has a, a opening for one eighth MPT, which is where he's gonna put his fuel gauge. So the fuel gauge is gonna run up here and then back to another hybrid racing line, which goes around here. Problem we have is he's using this Radium um, fuel pressure regulator, which would just disappear. So if you haven't seen the last video or the video when we were talking about this, this is his uh, fuel pressure regulator. Now they gave us this bracket that's on the back right here. Here, Carter, hold that. Hold that guy. Hold the regulator. I got the bracket. So the bracket, it's supposed to go something like this. However, we're not really, we don't see anything to drill into over here. And I don't want to make just random holes because his upper control arm is right behind here. So our, what we're gonna do with this is we're actually gonna cut this bracket. It's, we're gonna uh, take one of these, these ears off, just like that, so that way it's a 90. We took the plug out from up here, and we're gonna put a bolt up this way. Once we cut this ear off, it's gonna be flat like this, 
And then the, the other, well, the other end is going to be facing down because I don't want to put it like this. It's going to, just the idea, it's going to be flat here. This end is going to be facing down. Then we can bolt the regulator here. So we're going to go back to my house. We're going to go on the bandsaw, chop one of these ears off. And hopefully that works so we can just bolt that regulator up. have our bracket lightly mocked up actually the whole fuel system is lightly mocked up that bracket that we cut up worked perfectly it's gonna need slight trimming and like a little grind on the edges and stuff like that but I'm actually really happy with this so we put the gauge on just to give you an idea of what this the fuel set system is gonna look like again repeating myself but you guys saw it starting from here runs to here we put the gauge on just to give you a look how that's gonna look like now here's our bracket how we got that to work so we got a bolt going down so it's kind of touching over here in the corner as you can see it already chipped the paint slightly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it back chop a little section off of the corner so we can straighten it out we're going to need shorter bolts now because the ones that came with the radium pressure regulator they uh they were a little too long they're supposed to go through both ends of the bracket so we're going to get shorter ones for that then we have this fuel return set up down there we cut the uh, return line slightly just because it was a little too long and uh, that's, this is his fuel setup. This is how it's gonna work. And we'd have to run a vacuum line off of this. We have to find a vacuum source, how we're gonna do this. Uh, maybe we can add a T from when you run your brake booster line to the RBC. Maybe we could put a T in there somewhere. You could pull it from there. Uh, that's small things, you know, we can figure that out when we get there. And that's it, I mean, I really like the gauge setup. The gauge setup works nice, looks good there. Carter had to buy a ton of fittings to make this work, so, in order to make this radium fuel pressure regulator work with the hybrid racing lines, what you could do, well, you have to buy a whole bunch of fittings. Car had to buy a whole bunch of different fittings to make all this work. K-Tuned actually makes a kit, and I didn't know about it until after Car started buying his lines or his fittings, that they give you the dash six ORB to dash four for the return. Then they give you a dash six to dash six uh, inlet over here. They, they make a whole kit for this. I'll see if I can find a link and I'll leave it down below if you have to make it for like a K-Swap Civic uh, fuel setup. The K2 one will give you everything you need to make it work with the return and the feed and all that. So now next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start mocking up his uh, clutch master, get the slave on there, run the clutch line, and uh, that should be it. We're just doing little, little steps at a time. All right, we have our K-Tuned clutch slave cylinder installed with the K-Tuned tucked clutch line the uh the supplied master cylinder that came with the k2 and clutch kit and that's all done we have the separate the clutch master reservoir off the car right now that's got to get cleaned up we're going to reuse the ek one and that's that's the whole k2 kit k2 also gave carter a um, a map plug for his rbc so that way he didn't have to put one of those rubber plugs they have this billet one that you can get from k2 all this stuff you can get off their website i'll leave their their website link in the description and now i mean as far as bolt-on stuff we kind of bolted on what we needed to do today oh you have the k tune tps right let's let's see if we can get that on real quick with the bolts that i got you so here's the k tune tps this is actually my old tps sensor that took that <laughs> that i took off I, this was my setup uh when i had the rbc i had this this is my old skunk tooth throttle body the k tune adapter yeah map sensor and now carter's running my old tps just because i have the new hall effect sensor on my car so this this one went to carter's but i don't have the right length bolts i might have them in the garage so i'm gonna have to check but the ones that i gave him with this they're too short but this is like k-tune's first uh tps i think this is like their version one thing works great and it's billet i like it we might polish it up a little bit or something so um yeah we'll have to get longer bolts and install that what else do we need to do? Alternator. All right, so 
he um just before this falls and then it's no good <laughs> so when we were installing the motor we noticed that this bolt actually was loose so i took the bolt out and as soon as i took it out i saw that uh, it pulled threads so i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a heli coil on this drill this out put a heli coil so we can install the alternator put the belt back on and um and that should be it so Carter decided to test fit his radiator and if you're running a full-size rad with the EK K-series or K-swap you're gonna have to probably get a rotation plate for your uh, IAC just because you can see how tight we have it right here so with the, K the K-tune has the rotation plate so we're gonna see if we can get Carter one of these out and uh, once we can rotate this we can actually move the radiator slightly over so we can line up with the third peg so that and all right well there you go Carter's gonna order it right now but it looks good. I mean, that right here is super shiny. I love the way this uh, this is coming together. So we're gonna he's gonna order that right now. We're pretty much done for today. I've taken that bracket back so I can modify it a little bit, so it won't chip any paint. We have his alternator on. I had a heli coil that bottom one that went out good. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Me too. You sure it's the right one now? Cause you made me buy a lot of shit. That you need, I made you buy a lot of, you I'm bought a lot of stuff, you, you, you bought a lot of stuff without asking me if you needed it first. What? what? Like what? Like what? Tell me. Like what? This, this whole regulator setup that we could have made One regulator. With the whole K2 setup. What K2 setup? It looked nice though. Yeah, it looked nice. It looked nice because I fixed it. That's crazy. <laughs> you put two bolts on. What the Oh man, Carter, I'm over you. I'm ending this video here, guys. We're done for the day. Carter's gonna place another order with K2. And, uh, and uh, I'm sorry. why you have it? Cause no, I just checked my my uh, status on my last order. It's still guys, processing. Guys, I'm gonna end this video right here. Carter's getting. He's making his order for what he needs to get shout for the for the car. Get big shout out to K2. I, I'm repping K2 today. Shout out Sean. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no, man, that's my man Sean over there. Sean's been Sean and Matt. Don't disrespect Sean, Matt like Sean that. Sean's been bro. hooking. Well, I deal with Sean. That's why I'm always back and forth with Sean. But Sean's been hooking me up, hooking up the race program that we have here, and again, Carter on board. So, what's that? My orders processing. Then she don't care. She got all, all right. Well, there you go. Carter's orders processed for some other stuff that he got coming from him. Now he's gonna get the rotation plate. You'll see it all in the upcoming videos. Like this video a lot. Hit subscribe if you're new to this channel. I'll catch you in the next video. Stay motivated. Keep making those streets louder.